Hello, I am going to the NEC for the Motorhome and Caravan Show. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I'm going, why you should go, who's actually there, what the show's about, and how you could actually win a brand new camper van worth about 68 grand. Let me start by saying why I'm going. And firstly, there's going to be lots of new vans there. Really, really good quality vans. None of these all show and no camper. These are really, really high spec vans. NCC approved converters. They will each have different finishes, different layouts, different components, and different color schemes. We all love new vans, right? I know a lot of us can't afford them, but it's still great to see them and get some inspiration. I also love checking out new toys, gadgets, accessories, different components where you can fit in your vehicle, new to market products by some of these innovators. I want to see the large selection of awnings which they're going to have on display, and there will be many. I do need a new awning for my fire pit camper van conversation series. Hit a bit of a stumbling block recently with the poor weather and me not being able to shelter, so I definitely need to be checking out a new awning. And this is the ideal place for me to be. There's going to be lots of them, lots of different shapes and sizes. There will be something perfect there, just for me, as there will be for you too. Do subscribe if you want to see how I get on with that, and also what else I'm going to be seeing at the show. Let's talk about other reasons why you want to go, but firstly, what actually is it? Well, this is the big show which is held at the NEC, and it's officially the UK's largest leisure show. The two main partners for it are the Caravan and Motorhome Club and the Camping and Caravanning Club two big respected associations within the leisure vehicle industry. And this show really is big. It's spread over about 21 acres in 11 halls, and these are the big halls. Most of it is actually inside, and I do say mostly because there are actually a couple of bits which are outside. You've got the tow intuition which you've got, and you can also drive a motorhome. So hopefully the weather's not gonna be too bad so you can get out there and maybe improve your skills or if you've never driven one before, get into it for the first time. See how you would feel driving one of the bigger vehicles if you're moving up from a camper van or you've never even done it before and you are thinking about getting your very first one. Might as well check it out while you can. And back indoors, and this time due to the ever increasing popularity of the smaller base vehicle, the camper van, this is now spread over into Hall 12. There's lots and lots of vehicles gonna be on display there. There's lots of NCC approved manufacturers. You've got Bespoke, you've got CJL Leisure, you've got Hillside, Gerber Campervans and others. These are proper campervans with big money spent on the development. You might have seen in my last video about the crash test. Not everybody has done that. These companies have spent the big money to do that, to make sure that your vehicles are as safe as they possibly can be. They won't be coming with those big body kits and wheels, but they can come later. And I do have a video in future to help you out with that. There's also going to be lots of motorhomes and caravans at the show, obviously, as the name suggests. But this channel is predominantly about the smaller size vehicle, the camper van. But if you are looking at the motorhomes and caravans, then I will actually be featuring a little bit on this channel. So do watch out for that coming up whilst the show's going on. And yes, I am going to the show, so do look out for me. And if you do see me, then come and say hi, why not? Unless I'm obviously talking to the camera and then maybe wait till I've finished. You could even ask for a sticker. Got these stickers done. Jay signs my mate, Jake. Absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with these vinyls. I'm gonna have several of these on me. Although you're not actually that interested in me. So who else is gonna be there? Well, there are gonna be special guests. We're gonna have Joe Swash, who's gonna be there on the Wednesday. Vic Reeves and Nancy Sorrell on the Sunday. Jenny Powell, Wheel of Fortune on the Thursday. Jeff Brazier on Saturday and lots and lots of other guests. I've just picked out the ones of the names who I did actually recognize. And these are gonna be able to be seen at the Inspiration Theater. One person who I don't think who's gonna be at the show is Julia Bradbury, who of course is the president of the Camping and Caravanning Club. And the reason I mention that is because I'm currently reading her book, Walk Yourself Happy. Now I found out about this book because I am a member of the Camping and Caravanning Club and it does mention it in the latest issue. The long-term viewers of the channel might be well aware that I have had a heart condition recently. So I am just getting back onto my feet and a bit of light exercise is going to be good for me. We all know that there's benefits to walking, but I didn't really appreciate how many benefits they actually were. But Julia in this book talks about things which I didn't really appreciate. Things to help us in our busy lives are what can be really, really challenging lives. I am really enjoying it and I do recommend that you check it out. 
well i say reading but i'm not actually reading i am actually listening i do like to listen to my books like i did with the recent peter k book i don't know if you've got the book yet peter k tv it is absolutely hilarious but because i listen to it i'm actually listening to peter k narrate the book it's about eight hours of peter k just talking to you so i think the people who've actually bought the hard copy of the book are actually going to be missing out because there's some things in there which just won't be coming across in the book if you like peter k he is hilarious now i listen to these books on audible which for me is absolutely perfect if i'm out and about in the van and doing a long journey then i can just be listening to these books as i travel and at the moment you can actually get a 30-day free trial by clicking on the link which I've got in the description. And with that, you actually get a free book, which I believe you keep, even if you don't continue the subscription. So you're effectively gonna be getting a free book without paying a penny. It seems too good to be true. Just have a look, check out the terms and conditions. But yeah, you could get Julia Bradbury's book with that or Peter Kay, whichever you prefer, or anything else in the library. There are loads. I've actually been a member for probably well over 10 years so i genuinely do use it quite a lot and this leads on seamlessly to gadgets and van upgrades there's lots of people going to be at the show as are alpine and sony now you might have seen previous videos i've got the alpine halo head unit alpine are going to be at the show so hopefully they're going to be having these devices on display really really good head unit but go and check them out and make up your mind yourself i plan on visiting lots of these different brands whilst i'm at the show another one is total cool not actually seen the products in the flesh so i'm not recommending it at the moment but i'm going to go and check them out as you might have seen my camper van fire pit conversations i do need a cool box and total cool i've got some portable units there which are 12 volt 240 volt and they've got ice makers and you've seen i've been using ice that actually could be the perfect match so i'm going to go and check them out alternatively yeti are also on display and i could have a look at those so then i'm going to have an option of maybe a portable non-powered unit or a powered unit check them out and have a look you can do that you can go to the show check out the different products and see what would suit you although i won't be buying anything at the show because i've actually got no money there's also lots of options for cooking too kadaka there camping gas coleman ridge monkey lots of different manufacturer options there so you can have a good look around to see what suits you there are tvs mobile wi-fi security stands there's going to be air conditioning no doubt there's going to be heaters as well there's lots and lots of things to see there will be something for everything there is loads of stuff there rainbow screens i believe are there who do the really good thermal windscreen covers go there check them out that's perfect timing as the temperatures are dropping you are going to need something on your windows and if you've not got anything internally van shades are there as well so you could maybe get some thermal blinds for it there's really is just everything for your camper van there there is so much to see and do but how can you get there well first of all you need to buy a ticket now as i've said i am a member so i've been sent this tickets from nine pounds 75 but i think that's only the friday the tickets for the other days if you are a member of one of the clubs i think it's 10 pounds 75 if you aren't a member standard ticket price is 12 pound 50 plus booking fee i think it is but it does include parking and anybody under 16 can actually go for free but those prices are today's prices once the show was actually on the way and started i think the ticket prices go up to 15 pounds 50 and i do know that tickets do sell fast to these shows so make sure that if you do want to be going on a certain day you do buy your tickets early you don't want to be disappointed the weekends tend to sell out uh, as opposed to the other days so if it is a weekend you're planning on going at then you are going to have to look at getting tickets and i don't think any of the children are going to be on holiday for this particular show like they usually are for the february show so everybody's probably going to be trying to get there saturday and sunday so don't delay make sure you get your tickets like i've said there's free parking included in your ticket but if you're not driving and you wanted to get there by train Birmingham International Railway Station is just a few minutes walk from the halls and easily signposted and as I've said these are the big halls they are massive massive halls you could potentially be stuck in one hall for several hours because it is so so big it's probably a good idea that you do actually plan your journey before you get there find out which stores you actually want to go to and make sure you plan them out because it's quite a big place and there is a lot to see it's also worth thinking about eating and drinking as well planning what you're going to be doing for your food because there are various different eateries throughout the different halls but which one do you want to be eating at 
So maybe plan to go to a particular hall where the eatery where you want to eat is at a particular time so you don't lose time because there really, really is a lot to see. And something else to check out is the main partner stands. That's the Camping and Caravanning Club and also the Motorhome and Caravan Club because these are two places who've got some good prizes on. You can visit the Caravan and Motorhome Club because they've got a competition to win a holiday of a lifetime or alternatively, the Camping and Caravanning Club have got a competition to win a brand new camper van worth about £68,000. That's in conjunction with Swift and that's the Swift Monza based on the Ford Transit. Swift builds some really good motorhome and caravans, so I'm pretty sure the camper van's going to be good too. And I am going to be checking that out whilst I'm up there. There's lots to see, so make sure you do get your tickets. The camper vans are going to be awesome. If you want to see what these NCC manufacturers have to do to make sure that your crash tested bed is actually safe in your vehicle, you can have a look at that video here. For now, take care, and I hope to see you at the show.